In this video, we've been given three coordinates, A, B, and C, and they all lie on a circle. We need to prove that AC is a diameter. Now, what you need to be thinking about is circle theorems here, okay? So, for your circle, and if you've got three points that are on the outside of your circle, on the circumference, okay, then if that is the case, and we want AC to be a diameter, okay? Now, I'm not drawing this to scale, so the points aren't necessarily in the correct places, okay? We'll, we'll do another diagram in a moment. So we've got those two points there. Then we know that in connecting with B, that this has got to be a right angle. So if I can show that the gradient of this line and the gradient of this line multiply together to make minus 1, that means that they are perpendicular, and so that means that AC has to be a diameter. That is the process that we're going to go through, OK? So let's have a look at this then. We've got A at minus 4, 5. So let's pop A here, OK? Now C is 8, 5, so it's further along, but uh, it's got the same Y coordinates. So we're going to be somewhere over here. So here's C at 8, 5. And then B is 2 minus 1. So somewhere, well, it's actually right bang in the middle, isn't it? But minus 1, so further down. So maybe there. So there's B. OK, so 2 minus 1. Right, so what we're going to need to do is figure out the gradient of AB. OK, so I'll label that as the gradient of AB. So that's going to be... Uh, the difference in the y coordinates, so we'll have minus 1 take away 5 divided by 2 take away minus 4. So we've got minus 6 in the numerator, and we've got 6 in the denominator, and so that's minus 1. OK? Right, now we need to find the gradient of BC. So the gradient of BC is going to be equal to, so we've got 5 take away minus 1, over 8, take away 2. OK, so 5 take away minus 1, well, that's 6. And in the denominator, we've got 8 take away 2, which is 6, and that's equal to 1. OK, so the gradient of AB times by the gradient of BC is minus 1 times 1, which, of course, is minus 1. So... A, B, and B, C are perpendicular. OK, so because they are perpendicular, hence by the circle theorem, that means that A, C has to be a diameter. So, so A, B, and B, C are perpendicular. Therefore, A, C must be a diameter. Uh, with A, B, C on the circumference of the circle of a circle. OK? So that shows that AC has to be a diameter. OK? And that's what the process that we want to go through. So make sure that when you're dealing with problems like this, that you draw yourself a little diagram so you can visualise what's going on. And through the diagram, that often infers the process, algebraically, that you would need to go through to prove what you need to do.